Wednesday are A days, and Tuesday is a B day. Thursday and Friday is Thanksgiving. Enjoy the time with your family and eat lots of. On Monday's lunch, we have cheese pizza, romaine salad, baby carrots, and apple slices. On Tuesday's lunch, we have Asian chicken, steamed rice, steamed carrots, edamame, and fruit slushy. Finally, on Wednesday's lunch, we have meatloaf with gravy, rice, steamed broccoli and carrots with orange wedges. Distance learning tip number 12. Today's distance learning tip is an asynchronous learning tip. It's to check your email and your Google Classroom often so that you know when an assignment is posted. And you can keep up with your work. Self-awareness. Self-awareness doesn't stop you from making mistakes, it allows you to learn from them. I know where I am in my learning. This problem's gonna be easy. It's harder than I thought. I think I got it. It's wrong? Hmm, let me try another strategy. Ugh. I think I'm getting this slowly, possibly. I really hope this is right. I just want to be done. Okay, I think I got it now. I reflect on my actions to improve. Well, I used one strategy for this test and I got it wrong. Maybe I should use a different strategy for the next test. This strategy is working better than the other one. I take responsibility for my actions. Who broke the glass? I did. Progress. This clip shows that I know what I need to improve on. This clip shows that I need to practice on my juggling. I know that I'm getting better at my juggling. I 
I know that I have improved with my juggling. This shows me knowing where I am in the learning pit. Remember to be self-aware in all that you do. Hey Peaches, it's a 808 Reads Quarter 2 Challenge update. Remember our statewide goal of 8 million minutes? So far we've read almost 3 million minutes. Good job! Our school has contributed 24,114 minutes this quarter. These are the top 12 earned badges from our school. And these are the most popular books being read in our school. I want to say a special congratulations to Cade Pham, Kaisen Montaro, and Daniel Isa for completing the challenge early. They read 900 minutes. As a special reward, they get to choose a free book from our Scholastic Book Fair that's going on right now, virtually, at scholastic.com slash bf slash peaches. It's not too late to join this challenge. Just go to peaches.org, go to student links, and get into your Clever account. From there, click on the Beanstack app to log in your minutes read. Or you can use the Beanstack app to time the minutes you read at home. This challenge ends on December 31st and a new one will start in January. Did you know there was a natural phenomenon known as a brinicle? Brinicles are underwater ice stalactites and freeze everything they touch. Sometimes they will touch the seafloor, creating an icy river that freezes any creatures in its path. A brinicle is formed when the sea ice cracks and leaks out the saline water to the open oceans. As the brine is heavier than the water around it, it sinks to the ocean floor while freezing the relatively fresh water it comes in contact with. This process lets the brinicle grow downward. This phenomenon only occurs in specific conditions in the polar regions of the Earth, under blocks of floating ice. Well, that's all for this week's broadcast. Hope you stay safe and have fun this week. Also, make sure to show self-awareness.